Hello, insomniacs, fellow night owls. Or maybe you're an overnight driver. Maybe security somewhere. Or at the plant. Anyone pulling the graveyard. Welcome to the night shift. Once again, thanks for tuning in. If you have a story to share, post it in the comments below. These are experiences posters wrote about on a Reddit thread. Let's get started. Number one is posted by Morthern, and they say, I work night shifts at a gas station. During the weekdays, it's pretty quiet. It's usually only the truckers and taxi drivers who pop by for coffee and the sandwiches that we have. But one night, I was talking shit with one of the cab drivers. A car drives into the lot, parks, and it sits with its floodlights on bright aimed towards the glass front. Kind of weird, but maybe the guy forgot what lights he got on. It happens. The guy finally enters after maybe five minutes of flooding the store part with light, and it's obvious he's on something. He's jittery, wide-eyed, looks disheveled, paces around before he buys a coffee, and stares intensely at me throughout the purchase. Worth mentioning, I'm a five-foot-two-inch chick with the opposite of a resting bitch face. I smile friendly to everyone, but I work alone for eight hours in the dead of night. Eerie guy pays for his coffee without a single word despite my friendly chattiness. So I continue talking with the cab driver, but I still feel this guy staring at me. It was very intense and very unsettling. Cab guy probably notices this and leans on the counter and slides its card over, talking a bit hushed that I should call when I get off work. That guy sticks around because he's getting creepy vibes from him also. Cab guy was right. This guy stuck around the shop for about an hour to closing, staring at me, cleaning up, until some truckers arrived. Then he left and sat in his car, parked up against the window, staring until closing time. I called cab guy, and he gave me a free ride home. He later told me this weirdo had been driving behind us, his taxi with his lights on full power. The whole thing was just creepy. Just really, really creepy. Okay, next up is from Vulture Priest, and they state that they work overnights in a gas station also. Had a cop pop by yesterday around 5 in the morning asking if I'd seen anyone strange around. The cop swings by here all the time because of the bums and the people stealing and selling shit, so most of them are regulars. I told him, yeah, you know this place, everyone around here is strange. And he was like, well, this one had a Halloween mask on. Sorry, officer. Didn't see spooky serial killer, but I did hear gunshots the day before. Then there was the time two people OD'd in the alley behind the gas station. And when someone tried to steal shit, the manager at the time kicked the shit out of him when the guy threw a wine bottle. And the guy trying to sell me CDs in the parking lot an hour after I kicked him off the lot for the second time that day. (laughs) All right. Number three is from, I don't even, it's Greasy Doggo Wop. Worked night shift at an amusement park. I was working during the winter while the park was closed for the season, and I was one of two people in the entire park, and the other one was right next to me. We're driving around, and the phone started ringing like on every ride and in every building we drove by, and I don't mean all at the same time either, but it was like the ringing phones were following us. If it was some sort of prank, it was very impressive. But each phone had a different number. And we're talking like 25, 30 phones were ringing. It was creepy as hell. Next up is from Prototype. And they state that I'm an aircraft maintainer in the Air Force and I've been on night shift pretty much my whole career. There is a form of servicing we have to do on the aircraft called loxing which is where you service the aircraft with liquid oxygen for the pilots. This job is dangerous, so you are the only one allowed in the vicinity of the plane. You're wearing a bunch of gear. 
I had to do a locks job on the other side of the ramp from everyone else, essentially away from everyone. I finished my locks job and hopped on the aircraft to take down the numbers for her forums. In the process of me putting power on, I heard this horrific <laughs> happen from what felt like every corner of the plane. When you're alone in the dark in a large dark plane, all you really can do is panic. Turns out, the shutoff valve where I was servicing had frozen itself open and had proceeded to piss liquid oxygen everywhere. So not only did I have to change my pants, I also had to redo the job. <laughs> this next one is from Norris Padawan. Sorry if I messed that name up. Anyways, they state, not my story, but my dad's. He was a paramedic and got called out one night to pick up a guy who was found dead in his truck. Dude was apparently there a while because rigor mortis had set in. To make things creepier, it was apparently in a larger thunderstorm. They get the dude out and manage to straighten all the limbs out well enough to put the dead guy on the stretcher. It's like 3 a.m. and the mortician couldn't get into the morgue until 4. They have to drive around waiting instead of posting up at the gas station. About 15 minutes into driving, the dude apparently sits straight up, lets out a large bone. Dude was still dead, but scares the crap out of everyone. Later, my dad figured out when you straighten out a rigged body, gas, gases shift and causes weird things. Dead dude got straightened out only to sit up, moan, and scare everyone. <laughs> yeah, that would be be terrifying. Uh, as always, thank you for listening, and we will see you all real, real soon.